Hi guys, we are drawing today. Now, I know we've talked about this before, but I'm gonna go over it again. We are going to talk about symbolic and realistic drawing, and we are gonna do realistic drawing this year. So, let's get to the PowerPoint. Drawing. Basically, there are two types of drawing. We've done this before. This should be review for you. Symbolic and realistic. This is symbol drawing or symbolic drawing. We use symbols and simple shapes to make things that symbolize or represent something in real life. For example, the cat, a tiger, a lion, other various animals. These are all symbolic drawings. Likewise, these are realistic. These over here are more realistic. They almost look like a photograph, but they are done in, with art, with painting, with a, excuse me, paint or pencil. Uh, these are kind of in between realistic and symbolic. They're more realistic, but they're still a little bit symbolic. It's important to understand the difference. Which one's this? Yep, symbolic, realistic, but they are both elephants. And that symbolic ha drawing has parts of realistic. For example, on this pig, uh, we still have triangle ears on both of them. We have the split toe on both of them, and we have the big snout on both of them. And that shows this one is made up from your imagination, but it still has parts of realistic. And sometimes it's tricky. Sometimes it's a little bit of both. Sometimes it's a realistic drawing with symbolic design. This one right here, realistic drawing, but then symbolic face because the pig is smiling, symbolic, realistic face again, but then we have symbolic drawings on it to make it look like it's not real. But there is one thing for sure. They are both art. So going through these, uh, which ones are realistic? Which ones are symbolic? Pa we're going to pause for a second. Okay, so today though, uh, we've done a lot of symbolic drawing. Symbolic drawing tends to be easier for kids or new drawers, but we are actually, I'm gonna teach you how to draw from a photograph, okay? So I'm going to do a demonstration of drawing from this photograph of a parrot. When you look at this, it's overwhelming. Like where do you even start? So you kind of have to imagine shapes in your mind and think of it as if all the color was gone and you're just looking at the outlines of everything. And then for, that's called the contour line when we look at outlines. But the easier way to draw when you're drawing from a picture is to look for shapes. For example, once you think of this, this picture right here like this, it's easy to see shapes. Like for example, right here, we have like an oval shape with a triangle attached to the bottom. Um, up here, again, we have an oval type shape, but it's kind of squared off here. Beak, triangle with another triangle, okay? So you have to think of it in terms of shape, very simple shapes. Then once you have the very simple shapes, then you can be, then you can add detail. Details always last. So go from basic to detail, always when you draw. If you still are having problems with imagining a photograph like this, I gave you actual drawing uh, steps. So if you're really struggling, you this is how I would do it. So I drew these out for you. 
but let's go ahead and just look at it real quick and I'm going to draw this for you. So let's flip this down and now it's upside down so we're going to flip that over. There we go. And then we need a piece of paper. So if I were going to draw this parrot from a photograph like this, okay, I want to look for simple shapes and very, very lightly sketch them. So if I'm looking at this, I'm going to start just with this and notice how I'm kind of uh, tracing over this. And no, there's nothing drawn down here but I'm still kind of tracing over it so that I kind of just get a basic shape of what that pair is going to be. This is just giving me sizes. This isn't in, in very basic shapes. This isn't the actual thing I'm going to do. So once I have this basic shape, okay, uh, then, um, then I can do the uh, wing here. So the wing comes here and then I again think of it as an oval but then wow it's got all these triangles down here. Look at all these triangles. Okay so we have a tummy that comes up. We have a wing Okay, so notice I'm getting a little bit darker because I'm getting a little bit more um, secure with my line. Then I can start drawing in. This kind of scoops up here and comes over for the head, up and over. And, you know, it's okay if you take your pencil and kind of outline before you do that. Okay, then it comes down like this. I've got a tummy and it scoops in like that. Okay, The beak. Let's do the beak next. The beak is tricky, but the beak, if I, if I study it before I draw it, I have a triangle that's going down, ooh, and it's curved. So I have a triangle that's curved, and then I have another triangle that tucks under. Okay, so triangle, triangle last eye. Okay, now I've got a basic idea um, for my parrot. Feet. These feet are weird and I don't see them all but they're almost like holding on to the branch. They're just almost like an N shape. Look at N shape, N shape. The key to being a good drawer is drawing what you see, not what you think it should be. Okay, once you've got the basic shape, maybe I could draw the a branch in here. It's kind of hard to see where the branch goes, but it kind of does something like this. So once I've got the basic idea, then I can add details and firm up what I want to draw. There's the red part, the yellow part, something like that. And if you could see my eyes going back and forth, um, I go from here to here to here to here. I am flipping back and forth with my eyes. white patch here. Um, toes, he's got a couple toes here. This one's around here. This one looking over. Maybe puff it out a little bit here. Erase this, erase this, erase all of this. That line I don't need anymore. Add these extra feathers down here following the picture. 
And I think I've got a pretty good parrot. That's from drawing from a picture. This is hard. If you, if you can't draw from this picture, try drawing just from the white line. If you can't draw from the white line and still you are struggling, then go to these uh, drawing steps. The goal of drawing is being able to draw from a photograph. And by showing you these three sheets, I'm showing you how an artist thinks about drawing what they see. They first imagine it like this, and then they imagine it in steps. Then final would be color, but we'll deal with that later. Um, good luck. Have a good time doing your drawings. You're going to be doing them on book pages. See you next time.